She did. So American Sumer, so I, I touched on that in the live stream, but what, what they were doing is um, they were doing home remedies. And Moses was not a big, a big fan of, of medicine. And like I said, I have, you know, her, her, her entire chat log with, with him where she was, you know, when they were in So there was a, there was a spot where they were in the airport and um, he was short on, short on breath and he had to take a, he had to take a seat and they almost got him a wheelchair and he knew, he knew it was, it was a, a cardiovascular problem. And, you mm. know, she changed, you know, the way that she was, they were, they stopped cooking with salt um, they were taking um, cold baths and they, cause they were monitoring like his, his numbers and she had sent him a list of over 50 doctors to go see. And, you know, unfortunately just the way it was that he, he kind of, he kind of blew it off. Like he, he really didn't, he really didn't want to deal with that. And there, and there was a spot where, you know, I don't know if you guys saw in, in the live stream when he was at the cardiologist. So when he went to the cardiologist, you know, they prescribed, you know, some medicine for him. And he actually got mad at her, you know, for, for making him go to the hospital. And, you know, we were, we were talking and she just broke down in our conversation and, you know, she just, he, he made her feel like really, really bad, but you know, she, she, it was just him and, you know, her. So she had to push him to go. And, you know, his whole thing was he did not want to go to that hospital and, you know, find out that, you know, he was going to have to stay, whether it be COVID or, you know, they needed to monitor his, you know, his heart because it was getting serious because, you know, obviously he's a public figure and he has, you know, stuff he needs to do. And the last thing he wanted to be, be to happen is to be, you know, laying up in the hospital. So, you know, they, she tried, you know, everything, you know, she could. And, you know, they, they, like I mentioned, they tried to, to continue, you know, working out, but just, he was just short on breath and just couldn't continue. So, you know, it's just, it's just a, it's just a sad, you know, case that, you know, sometimes, you know, I mentioned that, you know, when somebody has like a medical condition, sometimes they don't tell you or, you know, they really just don't want to deal with it. And they think that somehow they can, you know, supernaturally overcome it. But, you know, something like when it comes to your heart, you don't, you don't fuck around. Yeah, you, you cannot gotta, play around with you gotta, anything. You got to deal with that. That major. So, the brain. Anything, blood flow, brain. Yeah, she did. Like she was, she was trying everything, man. They, they, they had, you know, he, you know, I don't know if I mentioned it in the, um, in the last stream, but he actually had a heart monitor in, you know, his bedroom that his, his cousin James found and it, it, he never opened it. So he had all kinds of, of stuff that was related to, you know, a heart condition and, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's, it's just, it's just unfortunate, but you know. Roger said, he said, we are trained, we are trained mercenaries. Yeah. We, takes, we got that on the resume, huh? Yeah. And you know, and the thing is, is it's not, you know, sometimes, sometimes people don't want to, you know, discuss, you know, their, their medical issues because, you know, they don't want to, you know, they don't want somebody, you know, on them, on their shit. Like, Hey man, you need to get this checked out. I mean, I'll just give you, you know, an account for me. Like my mom was like that. My mom, when she came to visit me, you know, I knew she had, you know, some issues. And when she came to visit me after my son was born, like I had to force her. I literally had to pick her up and force her to go to the hospital at like three in the morning because she was just in so much pain. But she was just trying to, you know, just. She was just trying to let just time go by and think that 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 it, it would just run its course. And no, it, it would have been really bad if, you know, had I not done that. But, you know, some people are like that. I know a lot of people you know, in my company that, that that's happened to that they ignored like their health issues and it's, it's a host of them. And, you know, and then they, they're, they're gone now because they, they just didn't treat it serious. You know, if you, the doctor tells you just, for example, the doctor tells you, if you don't stop doing this, you're going to be gone in six months and you don't do it. The, the chances are yeah. the doctor's right. He's not saying that he's not making that up. And, like, yeah. and, and he's probably telling you that because he's seen it before, <laughs> you know, yeah. and it's just like, and people don't take that stuff serious. And, you know, there was one time where, uh, friend of mine childhood friend he got, got cancer and it's crazy because i went to go visit him in the hospital i'm like man i haven't been in the hospital for a very long time myself you know to you know seeing somebody in that condition i'm like man i didn't he went in there for a small little minor procedure and then they realized oh yeah like stage three stage four they try to work work on it with well, less, less than uh less than two months about 45 days dead you know and it's just like the thing about it was it's just like you know you have those situations where you know, people, you don't realize it. Like, you can't wait until it's too late. And, like, once again, you wait going for a normal, a normal procedure. And, you know, I never, you know, and, and when I had got there, to, it's funny because it's the way life works. And 
I had the time I got there, they were getting the, they were getting a brief from the surgeon, so they called the whole family into the room. And I was like, dang, I just I just here to just came here to come check them out and come you know give them well wishes. And then I walk into a situation where the surgeon talking to the family and hey, like this is what we're going to do. Surgeon said he's not going to work on them. No point. Pretty much. I was just like, <gasps> I was like, wow, I've never heard nobody say nothing like that. You know what I mean? It's just like a surgeon refusing to work on somebody. I don't, I've never heard of nothing like that. I was just like, wow, I was shocked. I was just like, wow. So like when people are, you know, you got somebody who is being distasteful and disrespectful and showing you pictures of somebody who is deceased, you know, saying, oh, there's blood here, blood, you know, in the hospital and doesn't understand the severity. Like once you're in the hospital, you're going to be subjected to a lot of different things. And uh, they got to do blood work. It could have been a blood draw that sometimes they mess up blood draws and you just you bleed out everywhere. It could have been blood from that. You know, you weren't there, so you can't speak on it. You know, but I have and luckily and, you know, you want to get mad at the doctors or mad at whoever and say, you know, this is so disrespectful to say that they didn't do their job when they tried to save his life. When 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 they could have themselves said, you know what, we're not going to resuscitate. You know, they could have said it's hopeless and we're not going to do it and just let them die. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so that's the situation. I walked in with a friend who was terminally ill. Uh, and once again, he went to the hospital for a small procedure and they found out he had cancer. And then he, you know, he passed. And I've never, like I said, I've never been in a situation where, you know, I, did, I didn't really want to hear that that day. It's like, dang, you know, the whole family went in there. So I was like, I guess I go in there too. And that, you know, that kind of messed up my day. I'm like, wow, you could be in the hospital and, and it, that could be it. And they didn't tell him that while you laying on the, you know, laying on your bed. You know what I mean? So it's it's serious, man. And, you know, people like Mark and, you know, people that scam and do stuff like that, they're insensitive to everybody and they can't relate to those situations. They're not, you know, uh, sympathetic. They can't empathize or anything with those situations. It's a serious, you know, being in a hospital is very serious, especially when you get older. And, you, you know, because there's been times where people like, uh, so let's say you go to the hospital, like, oh, yeah, I'm going for surgery. It's gonna, I'm going to be in there for five days. Sometimes you go in there, you could be on a trip, and this has happened in the family. You get a message, you get a phone call, like, hey, somebody passed. You just thought, oh, it's just a regular procedure. You take it for granted. Every time somebody goes to the hospital, don't take it, you know, don't take it for granted. It could be the last time here on earth, you know what I mean? And you're going to regret not seeing them if something happens to them, you know, if you cared about that person, that is. 